This video is brought to you by Audible.com. What's up everyone, this is Victor for Phone Arena bringing you a quick review of the Fujitsu Stylistic Q702. This device is an 11.6 inch hybrid tablet notebook computer running a full blown Windows 8 on an Intel Core i3 or i5 chip. It makes it a truly outstanding performer and it even offers optional 4G LTE support to sweeten the deal. Looking at the spec sheet alone, you'd easily mistake the Fujitsu Stylistic for an Ultrabook, and rightly so. The device features not just an Intel Core chip, but also a solid state disk drive of up to 128GB of capacity. Being a hybrid though, it comes with a detachable screen and a separate keyboard dock, boosting battery capacity significantly. A jack of all trades, the stylistic aims to also be a tablet. At 11.6 inches, it stretches the form factor limits. With a no compromise hardware, but with a battery life of around half what Android and iOS alternatives offer. Is it too much of a compromise? Let's find out. Design on the Fujitsu Stylistic is bland at best. At worst, it's absent. As much as we like having a Core i5 chip, as much as we like ports and buttons, there are some compromises that have to be embraced in order for the tablet form factor to work. Fujitsu ignores all that. As a tablet, the Stylistic is too huge to be usable. What's worse, it's so heavy we could use it as a warm-up weight. It weighs nearly 2 pounds. The awkward 11.6 inch screen is too big to hold in one hand and when you try to do that you'd naturally hold it diagonally to somehow balance the excruciating weight. You can hold it with two hands but then you need to constantly lift one of your hands to flick scroll to save pages in an ebook. The stylistic is more than half an inch thick and it comes with a fan to cool down the Intel chip inside. There's a USB 2.0, USB 3.0 and a full sized HDMI port. Then you have a 3.5mm jack, a separate opening for a mic, a separate toggle for turning Wi-Fi on and off, another toggle to power the device on and off. Then you have a volume up and down buttons and a screen ro rotation lock key. All two recessed to be comfortable to press by the way. On the back you have a fingerprint scanner and even a camera strap loop. With only a couple more additions it could compete with a Swiss knife. Build quality is ok but far from impressive. Despite Fujitsu's claims for a solid magnesium cover, the tablet feels like any other matte plastic tablet. The irony of it all is in the name. Fujitsu somehow decided to name a bulky device with little style, the stylistic. Now let us say a few words about our sponsor, Audible.com. Audible is a leading audiobook service with a catalog of over 100,000 hit titles like The Hunger Games or Fifty Shades of Grey, just to name a few. What's more, if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash phone arena, you'll be able to download one free audiobook and listen to it anytime on any device. So if you want to get started with this beautiful service, just head over to audiopodcast.com slash phone arena. The Fujitsu Stylistic features an 11.6 inch touchscreen. It is a matte panel with a resolution of 3066 by 768 pixels. On such a large screen and a tablet form factor where the device is supposed to stand much closer to your eyes, jagged pixels are definitely noticeable in a bad way. We like the matte screen but glare is still an issue outdoors. Fujitsu uses an IPS panel here and while this sounds good on paper, viewing angles are not that wide and definitely start to wash out a lot at more extreme angles. The air gap between the cover glass and the actual OCD display is also huge. But what's worse, the overall color representation seems muted, with washed out colors lacking in sharpness almost as if you're looking at a blurred, bleak mirror image. The screen is also not bright enough for using the outdoors. The display comes with a dual digitizer supporting both pen and finger input. The display is of course capacitive with 10 finger motor touch support and worked perfectly well with touch. The 11.6 inch tablet body can insert into a keyboard dock and when docked the whole device transforms into a clamshell notebook. The keyboard dock itself is much more solid than the tablet. It is made out of aluminum with a brushed metal finish, keys on the chiclet keyboard seem a bit cramped at first but turned out surprisingly comfortable to use. Still those with larger fingers will definitely have an issue with their small size. The dock comes with a removable battery pack that adds a whopping 6 hours of longevity. This brings the total to respectable over 11 hours when you use the stylistic as a notebook. It also even further enriches the port selection, adding an 
Ethernet port, another two USB ports, and even a VGA port for your old external monitor. The dock also houses a stylus that easily pops out. It's been said before and we will repeat it again. Sketching on such a hybrid device actually makes a lot of sense. The experience is great with the touch optimized Windows 8 and the stylus definitely adds a lot of value to this type of devices. The tablet clicks easily and snugly in the dock and comes with a very sturdy latch. The Fujitsu Stylistic comes with a full-blown Windows 8 back compatible with all your Windows 7 and earlier apps. The new Windows 8 is also about compromise, allowing you to choose between the new touch optimized modern UI with live tiles and between the classic interface with tiny icons and all your apps optimized to run on it. This dichotomy is confusing at first and while most of that confusion clears up after time, those frequent jumps between the two interfaces are frustrating. Once you master the new interface, you will inevitably start looking for apps. Windows 8 comes with deep native integration of social networks, but the marketplace seems rather empty. Native apps on Windows 8 work well. The Mail app, for instance, offers a very convenient section layout with emails auto-fitting the screen and setting up email contacts and the calendar and syncing with popular services like Google's cloud is a breeze. The unit we test right now is powered by Windows 8 with Intel Core i5, Intel HD 4000 graphics and 4GB of DDR3 RAM and an impressive 128GB of solid state disk drive. The processor's clock speed is set at 1.8GHz but with Intel's Turbo Boost 2.0 technology it can go as far as up as 2.8GHz. That is some serious muscle and it comes for an equally serious price though of $1,399. Either Bridge is the successor to Sandy Bridge, and it is basically its copy made on a smaller 32 nanometer manufacturing node. Intel only slightly improved processor performance, while graphics got a bigger boost with the HD 4000. What's more important is that Either Bridge is more power efficient and allows for those five hours of battery life on the tablet. If there is one thing we love about the Fujitsu Stylistic is its SIM card support and 4G OD connectivity. Windows 8 allows you to install any browser you want, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer or whatever. It all works perfectly fine with Adobe Flash running hassle-free on the Intel chip. Scrolling, pinching to zoom, everything browser related is a buttery smooth affair. This hybrid tablet slash notebook has both an HD webcam recording 720p videos on the front, perfect for video conferencing, and a rear 5 megapixel camera. Shooting anything serious on such a bulky tablet slash notebook is absurd, but both cameras are more or less a necessity for Skype and that's what justifies their existence. Image quality is far below mediocre with still images turning out soft, low on detail and with poor dynamic range. For emergency camera situations, like cats gone mad or a unicorn apocalypse though, it should be fine. The stylistic wants to be everything, a hybrid tablet slash notebook, a computing Swiss knife of sorts. It wants to be portable and used as a tablet, but it also wants to feature all possible ports you can imagine. It tries to be a competitive tablet with decent battery life, but it also wants to include a powerful Core i5 chip. It wants to double as a notebook, yet is more pricey and bigger than a lot of Ultrabooks. The reality is that delivering a great device is all about embracing compromise, not going against it. An expensive device with top-notch hardware, ironically, the stylistic is bland on style and too big and heavy to be a decent tablet. It has a poor battery life and a bleak screen. It is not, not a good notebook either. At the price of an Ultrabook, it's thicker and less versatile, with a cramped keyboard and a sturdy but limited latch mechanism. Trying to kill two birds with one stone, the Fujitsu stylistic unfortunately succeeds at neither. And for a more detailed review, you can take a look at phonearena.com. Right now, thanks for watching. Bye bye.